In past few chapters Oda has provided some important information starting with Bonnie and Kuma relation, clues regarding Void Century, information about Devil Fruit and many more things. And also in upcoming chapter 1072 we will get more information about Kuma, Stussy and others. So friends spoilers are out for chapter 1072. So title of the chapter is The Weight of Memory. On the cover we see Queen, Judge and Caesar are creating weapons. So Caesar and Judge somehow manages to escape Whole Cake Island. And get united one again and Queen may also somehow get there too. I think they recreating a mad group or something like that. The first point presented in this latest chapter is that we see Kuma flashback. Vegapunk explains that Kuma's power turns intangible things into tangible things, like he did with Luffy's pain in Thriller Bark. So here we're getting what Kuma Devil Fruit is capable of. So originally we thought Kuma Poor Poor Fruit, it to be able to repeal things. But it turned out to be actually makes intangible things into tangible things. So it leaves a lot of exciting possibilities like this may be the Vegapunk reason for making Kuma, object of research. So here may be Vegapunk wants Kuma to help with his research and experiments. It may be possible that he made his memories into something tangible similar to Balloon or something like Pain. It may be still available. And put into somebody else's body like Pacifista. So that Kuma can be back again. It could also might be the case where, Vegapunk wanna know how much memory weighs something. And that's why chapter is titled The Weight of Memory. In the second spoiler Kaku vs Zoro fight continue. Where Kaku uses his awakened form against Zoro. But Zoro defeats him. And we already know this will happen. But it was kind fast. So it was two easy victories for Luffy and Zoro. So it may lead to fight Kazaru. Maybe they both will fight Kazaru. Or maybe Sanji will fight Kazaru. Here we may see first Logia Devil Fruit Awakening. The third spoiler is the fact that Stussy is not human but a clone of former member of the Rock Pirates named Buckingham Stussy. They do look similar and this how Oda likes to age some of his characters. And this may also confirm that Bakken was in fact part of Rock's Pirates. This may also clear Weevil may be clone of Whitebeard and Bakken may also be involved in this process some way. And this may also confirm that Stussy grew up in Egghead Island environment and she may aware of Egghead facilities. And she may be the person infiltrated the Egghead system. There is additional information regarding Kuma his power can materialize signals sent from the nervous system, such as pain, thoughts and memories Vegapunk wants him to help with his experiment and materialize Kuma's own memories so he can figure out the weight of memories. So this thing we already discussed. There is no break next week. So friends these were the spoiler of chapter. See you all guys in next week.